All right, I'm back with an update that I think you're all going to be thrilled about. So, last time I posted, I showed you all a video of a demo I had created of a virtual display that was what Xreal calls a body anchor display, stays fixed in front of you, and I'm going to show off the progress I've made on that. So, as you can see, I've updated the Xreal Air gaming plugin that is already available in the in the Decky plugin store, but what you're seeing here is an expansion of that where I've added the virtual display mode. So I'm going to switch over to that. And when you first switch over to it, it's going to do some calibration. Meanwhile, we can look at some of the other things that I've got here. Um, one thing that people have found valuable is the ability to resize your screen, put it either sort of further away or, or zoomed in and, and closer up. So being able to do that on the fly is, is really important. You can see if I if I change this, I can zoom out, get a smaller screen, zoom in, get something a little bit bigger. Let me go to the actual video here. You can see now I've got I've got the fixed display in front of me. It's a little bit odd to look at, you know, at, through your video because you're not seeing what I'm seeing. But when I look to the left, you can see the screen moves to the right, which to me looks like it's staying fixed over here. When I move my head to the right, the screen moves to the left, which again looks to me like it's staying fixed over here. So that's the that's the gist of the of the body anchor display. It's also got you know sort of the the head roll, so it, so it'll follow you know in every direction. One of the improvements from the demo that I showed in the demo, it stayed pretty flat. It didn't do any sort of perspective. Now I'm actually doing a true three-dimensional perspective in the in the shader that I've built, so in rendering. If I look at the edge of the screen, you'll actually see a bit of a screen tilt to the left and the right, even up and down. So those are some of the improvements I've built into the shader. I already showed off some of the controls here. Um, one thing that I've also added, I didn't want to put a button in the sidebar for recentering the screen because I feel like that sort of breaks the immersion. You don't really want to have to leave your game in order to recenter it, especially if it drifts, which it tends to still do. So what I've added is an ability for the glasses to detect a double tap. So if I want to move my screen over here, I can look over here, do a double tap, and now the screen is centered in my vision over here. So if you want to take your game somewhere else to, you know, if you're sitting in, in one place in your house, you want to go somewhere else to a different couch or chair or something like that, you just sit down, get comfortable, look where you want your screen to be, do a quick double tap, and it'll recenter in front of your eyes. It's pretty cool. Um, one thing I mentioned in the previous post that I just want to reiterate here, this currently is only working for Vulcan games, so, you know, that, that'll be a lot of modern games, but it may not be all the games in your library, so keep that in mind that this will not work necessarily for every game. I've also built in help. I imagine there will be a lot of questions, a lot of common problems. Why doesn't my virtual display work? Go into the help, check that out first before you before you reach out to anyone or file any bugs. This will go through the most the most common things. Okay, that's it. And 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 the um, the thing I really wanted to announce here is that this is now in open beta. So. If you go into the Decky store, update your Decky plugin, or install it for the first time if you didn't already have it, you will see the virtual display mode ready to go. So give it a try. I hope it works for you and enjoy.